important because I gotta cut all of these. Welcome, I'm in my kitchen because I am cooking again, dinner for the family and meal prepping again on a different date, not a Sunday, it's a Wednesday. The last video I did on meal prepping, um, you can check that out, I'll make sure the link is down below or yeah, if you're on your mobile and that lasts me for a full week and a half, so that means I have to do it again if I want to stay on track. So right now, today's dinner is uh, beans and cornbread. Yes, we got pinto beans. I got some white rice going on and my brown rice there. Yes, I do eat white rice as well. And then I have cornbread that is cooking in there. And then right now, I got some things thawing out, have my tilapia, my green beans washed and ready. Um, this is, you know, I don't buy a lot of uh, chicken breasts. Uh, I'm starting to get away from it. I pretty much like fish or tuna right now. <laughs> so I can see myself starting to become a vegetarian and slowly getting into veganism. So um, here's my vegetables. Um, and also good carbs along with the rice that I'm cooking right now and I'm actually going to show you some of my favorite dishes that you could eat cold if you're not able to warm your food up or you can warm them up so I'm gonna show you those four I posted them on my Instagram I think about a couple of days ago yeah posted it on my Instagram about a couple of days ago but I'm gonna show you how I make them all right so dinner's done beans and cornbread this is my brown rice white rice there not to mention i'm probably gonna have that today because my brown rice is for my meal prep and i have my sweet potato cubed and i have what olive extra virgin olive oil in it um lemon pepper seasoning tilapia and i have meat tenderizer on my chicken breast this is the kind of seasoning i like on mine among many others don't be afraid to <laughs> season your food however you want to so this is all ready to go into the oven then i have my green vegetables that need to be roasted in the oven so i don't have anything on them i'm going to roast them as they are because what i'm adding to them is going to add some nice flavor I have asparagus, broccoli, and green beans ready to go. All of this stuff here is not, oh goodness, all this stuff here is not going to fit in the oven so I'm going to start with this because this takes the longest to get done and then I'm going to slowly start to put these in the oven because these only really take about 10 to 15 minutes. Whereas this stuff is going to take about 45 except for the chicken. No, except for the fish. Yeah, that's only going to take about 15 minutes. But everything else is going to take about 45 minutes to cook. Alright, so let's start off with the first one since everything is pretty much done. I got my bowl here because I'm going to mix up these two. I have my asparagus and my chicken breast. So what I'm going to do is cut this up into... Um, nice smaller pieces, like cube size. Cool. So from here, I'm gonna put this all in the bowl. And I'm gonna cut up my asparagus. Pretty much mix that up 
and then some lemon juice you can just squeeze into it when you're ready to eat it so this is a very cool dish that um, I found on Pinterest and I'm starting off with the green beans and I'm going to put them all in a bowl Going to put a handful of almonds. Well, probably a little less than that. A whole bunch of craisins, probably about a handful of those. That's good enough. Feta, which is the only thing on cheese I like. And Yeah, about that much is good enough. Some uh, classic Balsamic vinaigrette dressing. You can make your own, but I went ahead and got this. This uh, olive oil. Well, you probably can see olive oil here. And 30 calories. It's not a lot of calories, so that's why I chose it. And I'm going to pour some in here. and mix it up. And this is the last one. Unfortunately, my camera did something really crazy while I was trying to record me mixing this up, but this has the um, broccoli in it, croutons, as you can see, feta cheese, and I have tomatoes in there so I'm trying to break this broccoli up some I'm going to mix it all up with some raspberry walnut vinaigrette it's flavored vinaigrette dressing not necessarily healthy but doesn't bother me I like to enjoy my food <laughs> so I'm going to put some in there mix it all up another cool one that I got on Pinterest as well and it's a nice way to prepare your sweet potato for your car and this is great for kids as well so I had uh, roasted it with some extra virgin olive oil that's in it and all of that and I'm going to add again and full of craisins <laughs> a <little> more. <laughs> and I know you guys always say that she didn't put feta cheese in everything it's nice flavor to me it doesn't bother me some people are sensitive to dairy products um, I don't really deal with dairy other than feta honestly so this is always going to be my favorite and i have it in moderation so trust me you don't need to add anything to this just mix it up so i guess you guys are wondering what i was going to do with the brown rice this is what i have done one of my favorites from the last uh, meal prep that I did have my rice, broccoli. Um, I mentioned that I add apples to them. I only put about a handful of them in here. And then I do something else with these apples, like freeze them for a smoothie. And add a handful of walnuts. And I'm good. is my non boring <laughs> recipes for my meal prep it is still um, the same plan as from the 
first meal prep <laughs> it's still I, I still follow the same meal plan that's on my cell phone um, with some things that I've added to it you can see with the chicken and asparagus I added some lemon slice of lemon so I can squeeze that in there when I'm ready to eat it um, you just recently saw me prepare these the apples uh, brown rice and huh, broccoli and my carbs here sweet potato chicken is here and then my fish and veggies so this should last me another week and a half actually probably a little bit longer than that because these three meals right here are hefty and they're probably going to be two meals and one day not to mention here i am <laughs> Well, this doesn't count. This is my husband's lunch. But <laughs> this is everything that is left over. So it's great for if I need it or if I'm having it for the family. All I have to do is prepare the meat for them. So most of this is the veggies and the sweet potato and the brown rice that uh, you probably could eat as a breakfast instead of oatmeal. But that's a whole well that's it guys i hope this video was useful just want to share that with you let me know which one of the four did you like the most which one are you planning on trying also make sure you check out my other videos and my playlist subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video